as a kid growing up in a small town, I just devoured books. I loved stories and loved reading and reading and reading. And I think that's what's influenced what I do. I'm Helen Lyons, I live in Winnipeg, and I'm an artist and an art historian. When you start reading history, the emotions, the interactions of people, they haven't changed. So when you're portraying something, although it may be dated if, if it's heavily costumed, there still is that universality of, of the story of interactions of people and people's feelings and emotions. People are my way of expressing things because they are expressive and if I can have them express things th that I think what they are expressing, then other people respond to them. Uh, with my work, you either love it or you hate it. It's, you know, some people just immediately get it and it evokes something in them. And so that's what I do. In 1972, a friend of mine gave me a hunk of clay and said, take it home, the kids will enjoy it. The kids never got near it. The first thing I made was this funny little head, and then I went back and bought more clay because I knew this was, although I was painting, I knew this was a medium that I would probably be more comfortable with, and so that began the, the whole thing with clay. It's dirty, it's unpredictable, you never know what's going to come out of the kiln, but it's also fascinating. I do pottery, I do thrown pottery and glaives, and it's functional pottery that you can use. I do printmaking, uh, I did Stations of the Cross for a couple of churches, which is etching on copper plates. I do drawing, painting. They all attract me, and so they all satisfy me at different times. When I'm sculpting, time stops, and I'm oblivious to time, and so I can work uninterrupted forever. It becomes what I'm doing, and everything else fades away. I believe people often live in total isolation because they don't talk enough to other people, they don't share enough to other people. So they may feel that they're the only ones experiencing loneliness and shyness and that theirs is unique, and it is unique, but it also is universal. And I think that's what, I don't sit down and think about let's make a universal peace. But I think that is my ultimate, that would be a good thing for me.